there was no rest for our little group of outcasts. Soon they were forced up beyond the reaches of civilization, up far past the most northern city, past where even most animals live, up to the North Pole. This is it, people. Oh, yes, this is it. We'll build ourselves a nice house. <laughs> Heck, oh, while we're at it, we'll build ourselves a castle <laughs> and the best toy factory in the world. And that's just what they did. And in no time at all, Santa's castle and workshop up at the North Pole. Well, as soon as the buildings were built, they settled in and started making toys in earnest. Oh, they needed toys. Because you see, despite everything the Meisterbergers tried, the legend of Kris Kringle, or Claus, as he now was known, just grew and grew. And as the years went by, animals delivered letters by the thousands. Oh, just look at this list. Well, load up the sleigh. <laughs> ah, this is the fourth trip this month. You see, he still had to travel by night because he was considered an outlaw. But when did they stop calling him an outlaw? Well, as time went by, that changed. You see, the Meisterbergers, they kind of died off and fell out of power. And by and by, the good people realized how silly the Meisterberger laws were. Well, everybody had a wonderful laugh and then forgot all about him. <laughs> yes, sir, the older he got, the more famous he became and the more folks loved him. He's very good, isn't he? Uh-huh. You bet. Is that why he's called Santa Claus? That's why, honey. That's why. It turned into quite a proposition. I can hardly keep up with the orders. I'm afraid I'm going to have to limit my journeys to a one a year. But on which night should I go out? I wonder. It wasn't a hard decision to make. They chose, of course, the holiest night of the year. The night of profound love, which was the perfect night for giving. Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. And that's how it all started.